everyone, it's Happy Mail Queen. We are 10 days until Halloween. Yesterday I watched Hocus Pocus and today I saw the Halloween bash because it's the 25th anniversary. I've also been not just watching that, but I've been watching Riverdale. I don't know if you guys, any of you guys watch Riverdale, but I'm a little, I'm hooked on it right now. It's, I love mysteries. So um, they used to scare me, but nowadays I don't know why I love them. But anyway, that's another thing I've been watching. <laughs> so anyway, I promised you guys that I would share a project. So while I was watching, I was creating some rosettes. So let me just share with you guys a few rosettes that I made. That's the spider one. And then here's my little happy ghosty. Look how cute he is. I was actually going to put a little crown on him. And I guess I forgot. And then here's a one. Now, initially, the eyes and the mouth, I, I used actually my Nouveau Drops. This one right here, the white one. And then it didn't quite look good. So then I decided, you know what, I'm going to put some chunky glitter. And so if you guys remember this chunky glitter from Michael's a few years ago, yes, I still have it because I love the bottle. And it's just, it's so cute. I... Don't even want to take it out of there, but I put a little bit on there, and I think it looks spectacular. And then here's the one that I was telling you guys I wanted to make with the little spider legs and the little um, jack-o'-lantern. Really, really cute. So, you know, you can stick this in Happy Mail. Um, your packaging, that's what I plan to do pretty much. So those are the four... Um, rosettes that I made and let me just share what I used if you guys don't have this punch this is a punch from Hobby Lobby and of course I've misplaced it so hold on one sec so anyway um So here is the punch. It's the rosette punch from We Are Memory Keepers. I love using this during Halloween, you guys, because of the edges. It has like the pointy edges and I just think it looks, you know, kind of more spooky. Um, it's a little more rough on the edges there. And so love using this one. So that's what I use to create the rosettes. And basically, I think this is about two inches a two inch rosette doesn't look like two inches does it hmm let's see let us measure i think it is about a two inch well no it's a little more it's almost a three inch rosette but i want to say to create this um what i do is cut my paper and i just used a regular um eight and a half by eleven sheet of black cardstock from michael so i'll cut um four inches by eight and a half and then i will go ahead and punch using this punch right here well before i punch i actually um will score this every half inch so of course this way okay every half inch sorry this way on the longer side. Ooh, is that even focusing? Sorry. And then um, I will punch this side and then fl flip it over and then I will punch the other side. If that makes sense. Um, and then, and then I cut it in the middle so that you get two pieces and then I glue them together because one strip isn't going to do it if you want it to be nice and full like this. So that's how I did that. Okay, hope that made sense. And then um, and then I also used rosettes that I had previously made. I've showed you guys this last time. These are um, made from crepe paper streamers. And And then this one, I think all I did was fold the streamers in half. And then um, 
uh, this one, did I sew this one? This one I did sew. I did sew this one. Okay, so then let me also show you the big one that I made. And this is um, going to a friend. And it's this one right here. Um, actually, let me zoom out a little bit. Let's see. Let me see if I can zoom. Whoops, wrong way. And excuse the mess on my desk there. Um, so this is a wand that I made and I just used one of the straws in my stash and I put another straw inside to make it sturdy and then um, as you can see here this one is a bigger rosette and I think what did I do I think this is about two three inch four inch hmm. let's measure it I think it's about four inches or maybe even more it's about four and a half i think it's about four and a half inches so i think with this one i did use four inch like this i think it's four inches to create this rosette let me just double check here yeah four inch by eight and a half inch and then i scored it again every half inch and then I just did one side and I did two of them so that I can create this rosette okay and that's what you get and it's big and then I put some tool so with the tool I basically also I use this one right here I love this tool that I think I got at Michael's and basically what I did was I folded the tool in half this way okay and I cut a strip of it, I don't know, I think maybe like 13 inches or 12, uh, something like that. And then I sewed it on the edges to, you know, to gather it like I did a gather stitch. And then, um, and then I made a rosette. And then, oh, and then I used one of my, this one right here, which is a Sizzix, the Sizzix, um, classic scallop circle and I think I used the one bigger than this one so I probably use the three and five eighths maybe can't remember but it's one of these the one that that fit perfectly here um, for this um, size so anyway um, I yeah I just used the die after I had made my rosette I made the die so that the edges um would be scalloped you can't really see it but anyway it is scalloped and then i use the dies from michael from michael's um let's see if i have it these from this year i use the black um spider web I layered that over it and I just hot glued everything and then then I used this one from the Dollar Tree what I did was I found the biggest um, was it this one yeah I think it was this one I just tried or I think it might have been this one the biggest um, spider web and I basically fussy cut it and then I I topped the um, the spider web die and it kind of fit nicely on that just to give it some color so it's not all black and then I did the smaller rosette I put the smaller rosette on top of that and then I just um, used uh, some more tool which is the orange one from I think also from the Dollar Tree from last year and it's also scalloped and then I put this little cat, and which is a um, the one from this one right here, guys. The one from um, Target that comes in the bucket. I love that cat. It's, I love it. So I don't know. I wanted to make it a cat wand. It's actually a cat and um, spider wand because in the back. All I did was just put the tool 
And this time I didn't fussy cut it, I just used the scalloped circle die and just cut it so it is scalloped edges and then I um, glued it. And you can see a little bit of the glue here. I'm actually going to cover that. I, there should have been a spider there and I totally forgot I was going to put more little spiders on there, which I guess I didn't do. And then this spider is from um, a, a couple of years ago, I think, from Walmart. So it's just part of my stash. And then I made these bows, you guys. They're really cute. You guys know that I love making bows, but I like to put tool on my bows. So here are some bows that I made. I should actually just show you here. I made some bows. Oh, I'll show you in a little bit because I made a few of them. But I uh, this is made out of stiffened felt, purple, in purple. And then I put um, this tool over it. So it kind of made it really dark. So it was lavender, actually. It's not purple. It's lavender, as you can see on the inside part right there. But then when you cover it with this tool, it just makes it even darker. And then um, this little kitty cat with the googly eyes, you see that? <laughs> That's actually an earring from... Um, what is that place my daughter loves to go to? Claire's. And um, this was on clearance, I think, when I bought it. And she never really wore the earrings, so I decided to just take the little... Um, that part on the back. I removed the backing of it, and then I... Put some glue, some Fabri-Tac, and I put it right in the middle of the bow. And then I used a jump ring for my stash. I wanted to hang this little kitty. And then with some jump rings, I just kind of made a dangle. As you can see, I have the spider, which was also um, from, I think it was part of the necklace. Is it a necklace? Or, yes, I think it was part of a necklace from... Um, Claire's also a couple of years ago, two or three years ago. I can't remember. And then this is a charm that I got from Etsy. And then I just um, used some of my the beads from my stash. And that's it. Oh, and then I, I did put some rickrack. Um, I basically just used that, this one right here, which I absolutely love, from Michael's. I just used some of the trims from there. So you have like the eyelash trim and the rick rack and the and this one right here with the little pom poms. So cute. And that is another wand that I created. And basically I wanted to create it more I wanted to create more wands because I did make these shaker wands that you guys liked as well. And when I looked back, though, I was like, oh, my wands looked so much better than that. <laughs> I mean, like, I just added a lot more and I did the tool and everything. And so, of course, I had to make a more fabulous one with the tool. And I just absolutely love this purple tool. So that is my rosettes and my wand. And then, um, oh, and then to share with you guys, it's going to be kind of hard to see. Here, so I'll just do that. Um, I made some of the bows, and so see, I used that stiffened felt from Hobby Lobby, and I used uh, the boutique bow from Spellbinders. It's it's kind of like my go-to bow right now, even though I have the Halloween um, bat bow. I just love the size of this. It's just a good size because the bat bow sometimes is just so big. So I just made a few of these and I think I just made five of them and then I just hung some charms from, I think these are charms that I had gotten from Etsy and I just put jump rings over the belt loop part of the, a couple of jump rings. So that is my share and let's see, I'm already at 12 minutes so I'm going to have to come back and share with you guys. Um, my um, October daily so stay tuned for that okay thanks so much for watching guys talk to you later bye